sweatshirt on. 30 degrees. Yeah, Minnesota. I'm Minnesotan. Tough, right? Howdy, guys. Back for another vid. It is mid October. Snowed, flurried, I should say. Flurried all day. Tomorrow it's supposed to snow five to seven inches. So that should be fun. Slug and muzzleloader season is coming right up. So today we're going to sight in my muzzleloader. So this is the CVA Optima V2. It's a 50 caliber muzzleloader. I have it topped with a Conus 275, which it has uh, hash marks in the reticle out to 275 yards. So we're gonna shoot it here today, see if that actually lines up, we'll get it sighted in. This is like a $275 give or take uh, rifle. For the money, this is a really good muzzleloader to get. It's very accurate, shoots really good, it's really easy to clean, uh, pretty solid gun for the money. I've used the uh, IMR White Hots. It's supposed to create less uh, residue, uh, run a lot cleaner so you can get more shots between cleaning. Pair that with uh, Remington 209 primers, which is also supposed to be cleaner. And then I use uh, the TC, they're like a pre-soaked patch for, um, for cleaning. So that helps with running that down the barrel to clean out. For the bullets, I use a Hornady Harvester XTP Sabot. Uh, they're 240 grains and they're super accurate. They run really good. So we'll start off by running one of these pre-soaked patches through. And then uh, I'll just run two dry patches through uh, to follow up to push any of that solvent out. First things first, we're gonna wanna bore sight the muzzleloader. So I look down the barrel of the muzzleloader and line it up with the center of the target. I will then look through the scope and click my scope either up or down, sideways, to line up with the point that the barrel is on. So we'll screw our breech plug back in to start the loading process. And whenever you clean, you do a cleaning, you always wanna fire a shot before you would take it hunting. So we got the breech plug screwed in. And what I do is I use two pellets of this white hot. Just put two pellets in there. And you'll take a sabot and you'll put the bullet in there. And you'll start it, just kind of push down on it with your finger. They make tools for it. I got it around here somewhere. And actually pushes pretty good. So I have a mark. I marked my ramrod on how deep it's supposed to go. Go right to it. And you don't want to like push it in there and break them pellets. You just push it in there snug. Okay. Then we take a primer. Put a primer in there. And then when we pull the hammer back, then it's ready to go. So this is the Conus 275 reticle is what it looks like. The top mark is 75 yards and then the bottom big line is 275 yards. All right, so let's fire our first shot at 25 yards, see where it hits. Alright, so that was the first shot at 25 right there. We'll uh, move the barrel back out to 100.
Just fired two shots at 100 yards. Let's go check it out. Not bad. So this was the first one after we moved it out to 100. And this was the second one. So I just clicked it a few more clicks. We'll fire a third shot. Hopefully she's almost right on. So after looking at it out there, I'm going to want to move it more to the right. So I'll just click this to the right. And then I want to go up also. See the up. So just click it up. That says right on there. One click is a quarter inch at 100 yards. So if I want to move it one inch, move it four clicks. So I just fired another shot at 100 yards. It was inside the orange, so almost stacked it with my other shot. So I'm going to move it out, the uh, barrel out to 200, and we'll see if that reticle does what it says it's going to do. We'll see if uh, it hits close to 200 with, uh, with the 200 line on the reticle. I fired two shots at, well, three shots at 200. One was a cleaning shot. I cleaned it quick. Uh, let's go check them out and see how it did. That was my first shot at 200. I clicked it over, two clicks. Uh, that was my cleaning shot there, and then that was my final shot. So, pretty happy with that. I mean, it's two and a half inches at 200 yards with a $275 gun. I will take that. I will take that. I'm gonna do a deep clean, disassemble the whole gun so it don't rust up on me. And then uh, right before season opens, we'll give it uh, another clean and then we'll run that, that first shot through the barrel and then load her up. And if I don't have a deer with my bow by then, hopefully uh, we can get one with a muzzle loader. Your verse of the video is 1 Thessalonians 5.18. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Till next time, guys.